Right, welcome back to Live at 5 at 4. Hope you're having a great Thursday. The flu season has started. In addition, there is RSV, which is respiratory syncytial virus, syncytial virus <laughs> causing kind of havoc and can be both very serious, even life threatening at times. Dr. Bob is here to kind of work us through this whole thing to talk about how you really even know if you have the flu and the dangers of all this stuff. Good to see you, Doc. It's good to see you. And it's really a very, very important thing because both of these illnesses are now starting across the United States. We're seeing huge amounts of RSV. We'll talk about that respiratory syncytial virus. So it's going to be a virus and the influenza. Now, the bad part is both of these can kill people. For instance, let's start with the flu. The flu is due to the influenza virus. The virus gets inside the body on the lining of the mucosa, the lining of the throat, or the lining of the lungs, and it begins to seed out and it propagates, it expands, it reproduces itself at a rapid pace. Medicines for that only keep the virus from reduplicating. They don't really kill the virus. So the flu can cause symptoms of fever, runny nose, sore throat, no big deal. Uh, usually it's mild, usually it lasts 10 days, but it can then go into a severe headache where you, light hurts your eyes and you have to get in the dark and you have to get in the room and it's very contagious and you, have to, you can get it to other people. As we get older and as we get in uh, nursing homes, then the influenza can cause secondary pneumonia to people mm. and they can die with that. At least 40,000 people will die each year of the flu. Let's go to RSV because that's important at the other spectra at young children, infants, zero to six months. Their immune system doesn't handle this widely spread virus. So if they get the virus, there's nothing to stop it from causing trouble. And so they get not only do they start off with runny nose and sneezing and sore throat, but then they get a cough and they start to wheeze and they start breathing rapidly and you know they're in trouble. If that starts having fever, breathing rapidly, sort of a mm -hmm. lethargic, then that must go to the emergency room. There's 57,000 emergency room visits from RSV. It's very common right now. So in the hospital, they have to treat this with oxygen, with uh, mass, with humidity. And it, the problem with that is if they get it from age zero to six months, when their immune system is not working, then it tricks the immune system to begin to develop chronic asthma. So they end up later on in life mm. having cough, wheeze, shortness of breath, and that can also be a life-threatening situation. So both the influenza if you haven't had your vaccine, it may be too late because it's coming around. You get the flu shot, it takes at least four weeks to begin to get immunity, and it takes six weeks before you got it full blown. So flu shots, yeah, possibly you could still get them, but really you probably, you, you've got to really yeah. have at least two weeks before you're protected partially. So then we've got to keep from getting flu. So what we do is we hope people have gotten their flu shot so they don't get it and spread it to everybody. We hope that we'll be washing our hands frequently because we can pick up the flu virus. Usually it's from a cough, but it can be for a short period of time on a desk or, some, or shaking somebody's hand. As far as the RSV, adults can get that later on. They uh, lose their immunity by age two. Almost all small children have had have RSV. Have had it, right? Yeah. So later on, you can get it again, and about fourteen thousand deaths a year in adults can be due. So it's not something simple. We have to pay attention to this, and have to pay attention to our symptoms in our body. If you have shortness of breath, lethargy, tightness in the chest, can't breathe, or if you're in a child, if you're a child and you hear wheezing, have to go to the emergency room. May need to be admitted. It may save that child's life. No, all right. Good information. Hate to even talk about it, but it's great information. Well, there's nothing like uh, the love of our children yeah. and also our moms and pops. Yeah. So amen to that. It's good. It's good information. All right. Have a great New Year, Doc. Always Same. good seeing you. And Same. the Dr. Bob Show, Tuesdays 9 p.m. Sundays at 2:30 p.m. on 10 News 2, the award-winning show, DrBobShow.com.